Introducing the new Weika CPH7600, also known as the Wally Box 3 Pneumatic Portable Pressure Calibrator. Comes in a resin housing and is IP67 when closed. Will weigh approximately 15.9 pounds. Now the Wally Box 3 replaces the previous Wally Box 2, which is now discontinued. The first thing you will notice when you open the box is that you have a pouch and inside the pouch will be all the required accessories which we will show to you later on during the demonstration. You have four pneumatic ports with 1 8 NPT connections and for the purpose of the demonstration we have already connected the quick connectors that have been supplied with the instrument. You will notice a main selector and an adjustable regulator the first pneumatic system, you are able to put 120 psi and via a filter through a regulator, you are able to adjust an output of 0 to 100 psi when the main selector is in position P2. The second pneumatic system is by placing the main selector onto position P3. You are then able to use the internal electric pump and then choose between either a vacuum or a positive pressure giving an output of minus 12 to 300 psi. The accuracy of the internal sensor is 0.025% of reading plus or minus 0.01% of full scale. With the fine adjustment you are able to adjust the volume and therefore adjust the pressure finely and then with this valve you are able to vent the system. Then, by placing the main selector on position P4, you are able to use the internal sensor only and measure an input pneumatic signal of minus 12 to 300 psi. The LCD display is divided into three levels, so you are able to simultaneously display the internal pressure from the internal pressure sensor, an external pressure, should there be one connected, on the pressure module connection shown, and you're able to display the analog input. The bottom of the display works in conjunction with the selector push buttons F1 to F3. In this demonstration, we're actually going to calibrate a device under test, which is an analog gauge, which is a vacuum to 200 psi. So in this case, with one of the pneumatic pipes, as supplied, you will need to connect it to position P3, put your selector switch onto position P3, choose whether you want to do a vacuum or a positive pressure first, then check your sensor and perform a zero. Now we need to set up the display for this particular test. We will switch on the light so that we can do, see the display more clearly. We will then go to the menu, choose more, and keep going through the menu because what we need to do, we only require two levels of display. We select the display and we switch the lower display or upper display, either on or off. In this case, we're not using an external sensor, so I'm switching off the middle display. Now, our display will indicate the internal pressure where we generate the pressure from our pump and the bo to bottom display will indicate what we're doing with the pump so we'll go across to the menu we'll go to more and we'll keep choosing next until we come to the pump the reason wh why we're doing this with the pump is that the pump can go up to 330 psi but the gauge only goes to 200. So with using the arrow keys, we select and we reduce the reading so that the pump will not exceed that of the gauge of 200 psi. We've already connected our gauge on position P3. The main selector switch must be in position P3. And then because we're going to a positive pressure, you must make sure that the pump selector switch is on pressure and not vacuum. We've already zeroed the display 
we need to make sure that the vent is closed. We are then able to go over and start pumping it up. The battery life of the Wally Box 3 enables 50 hours of operation or 125 cycles up to 300 psi. By keeping my finger on the button, the Wally Box will stop at 200 psi, which was the maximum limit I set. You will notice at this point the pump no longer operates and the gauge is at 200 psi. To get the gauge on its cardinal point you may have to do fine adjustment. You can use the volume adjuster on the Wally box and adjust the pointer so that it's on 200 psi. You can then read off the Wally box what is the pressure compared to that of the device under test and when you are complete you can vent the system. When you decide to do a vacuum, make sure your vent valve is closed. Then, using the pump selector switch, select vacuum. Then activate the pump. Your pump will enable you to go down to minus 12 psi. We are now going to calibrate a pressure transducer using the Wally box. The pressure transducer in this application is rated to 300 psi, so we need to connect the pressure transducer to position P3 so that we can use the internal pump to source the pressure to the transducer. We will then also need to connect the milliamp signal of the transducer to the common J1 and to give a 24 volts to the transducer to J3. Now we need to set up the display so that it suits the test we want to perform. We hit the menu tab, then we will make sure we select the upper display, then configuring the upper display so that it measures P1 which is the internal pressure sensor. We then select done. We now need to select the bottom display. We select the bottom display. We need it to do milliamps which has already been done. However, we need to make sure that it's in the 24 volt measure configuration. We hit done and we're now ready to perform our test. We now need to make sure that the main selector is on a position P3 to use the internal pump. The pump selector, in this case we want to go to 300 psi, we change it from vacuum to pressure. If we're happy with the zero, we can then go ahead and close the vent. We will then go ahead with the pump and take up the pressure. You will see the pressure increasing at the top half of the display and the bottom half of the display you will see the corresponding 4 to 20 milliamps coming out of the pressure transducer. The pump has already been preset to stop at 300 psi. you'll see the pump did stop automatically and will no longer operate above 300 psi. You will notice the pressure may drop in the beginning due to any cooling of the air in the system. Once it starts to stabilize you can use the fine adjustment and actually set your transducer to 300 psi. Then you can take the corresponding milliamp measurement.
Now we're going to calibrate a CPG 1000 Weicker digital pressure gauge. In this case the pressure gauge goes to 400 psi but the Wally box only goes to 300. Therefore to extend the range of the Wally box we will use an external pressure transducer in this case the Mensor CPT 6100. This transducer also increases the accuracy of the Wally box because now we will be 0.01% of reading. We then connect the pressure transducer to the pressure module socket next to the display. We now need to set up the display to suit our current test. At the moment the upper display is measuring P1 which is the internal sensor of the Wally box which we are not using and the bottom display indicates the milliamps which we are also not using. We only need to display the external pressure transducer. So through the menu we select more and we go through next until we get to a screen that says display. We select display. The lower display will be off. The upper display which is P1 will be off and the middle display we will leave as on. When complete hit done and now you'll see the display is only displaying the external pressure transducer. Let's now get our gauge under test up to 400 psi. We now set the adjustment on the gauge to 400 and then we're able to determine the exact reading from the transducer displayed on the Wally box. To extend your Wally box for higher pressures, you can also purchase a pressure module adapter which is compatible with a whole range of CPT 6600 pressure transducers. Standard scope of supply with your Wally box 3 is a power supply charger unit, two electrical cables, three stainless steel female adapters, two plastic pipes, six quick connect fittings of which four will already be installed on the Wally box, some PTFE thread tape, an instruction manual and a NIST traceable calibration certificate. As you can see the new Wally box 3 is a major improvement over the Wally box 2. The pressure range has been extended from 120 psi to 300 psi. It now has an electric pump instead of a manual pump and it has a better display, graphics and keypad. If you need any more information, please go to mensor.com. Thank you very much and enjoy your new Wally Box 3.